examples of algorithm of subtraction part 2 so children in the previous video you learned how to represent the subtraction of two numbers in different systematic ways in this video we will see some more interesting examples of subtraction and learn about some common mistakes that should not be made today is sunday tomorrow is aunty's birthday who is chotu and pinky's friend pinky has brought four toffees for aunty pinky please give me one toffee no chotu these four toffees are for aunty i can't give you even one of these i will get more toffees for you tomorrow oh okay fine pinky so children Out of the four toffees, Pinky did not give even a single toffee to Chotu. This means she gave only zero toffee. We can also write this in this way. Can you tell me the answer? Do you think the answer for this will be zero? No, right? The answer will be four. You also got the same answer, right? Very good. This means. 4 minus 0 equals to 4 if we subtract 0 from a number that is if nothing is subtracted then the answer is that number itself did you understand okay now i will make a birthday card for aunty there are so many colorful pencils in that box can you give me some of those pencils chotu yes Take these, Pinky. Thank you, Chotu. So, children, first there were nine pencils in the pencil box, and Chotu gave some of them to Pinky. Now there are six pencils left in the box. So, can you tell me how many pencils did Chotu give to Pinky? Come on, let's see. First there were nine pencils. If we take out one pencil from them. Then there will be eight pencils left. If we take out two pencils, then there will be seven pencils left. If we take out three pencils, then there will be six pencils. This means Chotu gave three pencils to Pinky. We can solve this in another way. There were nine pencils in the box, and after Chotu took some pencils, six pencils were left. This means out of nine pencils. Six pencils were left, so Chotu must have taken these three pencils. That means nine minus three equals to six. So, children, that was all for today. In this video, we learned how to solve the subtraction questions in a systematic way. I hope you have understood this topic properly. Bye friends